Good morning, Varun. Good Thank morning, Rich. Being here. I appreciate it. My pleasure. It. Um, I just want to introduce you and let everybody know what we're talking about today. So, um, first of all, I'm interviewing Varun Vashisht from Amdocs. And Varun is going to talk today about um, private networks. And he's going to discuss the opportunity for CBRS and 5G based private wireless networks for improving coverage, capacity, reliability, and control for existing and new uses for enterprises and organizations across a range of verticals. So, um, so much for the introduction now. Varun, please tell us why private networks is a hot topic right now and what real estate people in general need to know about these networks. So uh, that's a very important question to start with. Um, so private wireless networks uh, have always been offering key advantages for enterprises looking to have uh, more control over their data, which in turn offers uh, reliable and secure connectivity to, to their users and tenants. Uh, they also offer key benefits of uh, coverage and capacity to building owners where needed. Uh, I mean, we have all been through certain areas of a building where there is a dead spot uh, or, or low coverage. Private wireless networks eliminate these challenges while offering benefits of uh, security and reliability. Uh, and believe it or not, private wireless networks have been deployed for over 50 years by certain industry segments. Uh, but with the advancement of innovative technologies uh, like uh, shared spectrum offered by CBRS, uh, they are now highly affordable, uh, scalable, while maintaining all the benefits that they have to offer. So what are some of the early adopter verticals that you've been working on and you've seen? And you know how do these apply uh, as the best sort of use cases for um, private networks in general? Uh, so fixed wireless access and uh, mobile are some of the early adoption use cases that uh, have popped up for both indoor and outdoor deployments. Uh, we are seeing key initiatives adopted by utility companies uh, and the education sector to bridge the digital divide across the nation. Um, utility companies have been deploying their private wireless networks uh, on proprietary waveforms and other technologies for the last 50 years, um, as they must provide mission critical infrastructure mandated by federal uh, security regulations. Uh, with CBRS, uh, they can comply with security regulations and adopt globally accepted technologies that we all hear about, uh, like LTE and 5G, uh, which are highly secure reliable, uh, scalable, and affordable. Um, besides that, we are seeing a keen interest in uh, private wireless networks uh, from real estate, uh, smart cities, and uh, other indoor verticals like hospitality and healthcare. Uh, private wireless networks cater to vast use cases. Um, at Amdocs, we are able to translate these numerous use cases to uh, network connectivity requirements and uh, offer pre-integrated and uh, pre-tested solutions to deploy out of our labs, uh, which uh, includes all uh, the RAN hardware, Revolve Packet Core, uh, enabled by some of our software-led deployment and uh, network operation services. So a turnkey solution is what you said. A turnkey solution, that's Got that it. is correct. So one of the most prominent people in the real estate business um, has been on our panels and, and done some webinars with us. And his quote is that, CBRS is the greatest gift the government has ever given to real estate. And I wonder if you would agree with that. And can you tell us about how exactly that works for somebody in real estate who has this uh, frequency they can now use for free? Yep, uh, 100% agreed. And uh, it is articulated perfectly. Uh, real estate owners have uh, so many pain points with the current coverage and capacity in their buildings uh, while they are bringing this idea of uh, smart buildings to the forefront. It is enabled by their innov innovative thinking uh, on new revenue generation and, and basically keeping their tenants happy. Uh, CBRS does both. Uh, it solves the current challenges while supporting future use cases. Um, Amdocs is actually working with the multiple building owners and uh, designing and deploying these end-to-end -end solutions for some of these uh, model facilities. Uh, I mean, stay tuned as we bring these to life with our uh, existing customers. Yeah. So how exactly does one go about putting a CBRS network in their building? Um, what do they need to know and what do they need to do in relation to working with someone like Amdocs on a private CBRS network? 
So uh, this is a very important question and uh, it's, it's probably uh, kind of like a step-by-step -step approach. I'll, I'll try to explain it. Um, any network deployment uh, starts with defining a particular use of such a network. Uh, why do we need this network? Uh, so we will have certain primary use cases and uh, certain secondary use cases, which could be anything from offering additional capacity, uh, improving security of their existing infrastructure uh, as a primary use case, uh, while enabling IoT and uh, newer use cases uh, on top of the same network as a secondary use case. Uh, Amdoc starts with uh, translating both primary and secondary use cases to define network requirements, uh, which in terms are basically what kind of throughput do I need? Uh, what kind of latency is required? Uh, what is the coverage area I'm intending to cover? Uh, what is my capacity requirements? How many tenants do I have in a building? Uh, we then help select the right solution in terms of uh, the type of radio hardware, software, and other key aspects of the solution. Next step is what we bring to the table is uh, test this solution uh, in either our or, or a customer's lab that we can create and validate it in the field while running production traffic. Uh, when all the shortlisting is done that this is the hardware, this is the solution I like, uh, this uh, resonates well with me, we then design uh, the final design of uh, such a wireless network across a building or multiple buildings, depending on where they need it, in terms of uh, radio ne uh, access network design, and IP design and IT design, uh, how do we integrate the, with their existing IT infrastructure, uh, EPC design and uh, create data sheets for their field crews to follow. Um, we also, as a next step, then send our certified field crews to install and integrate this hardware and software and get it ready for commercial traffic. Uh, the last step and the most important step uh, is to test and optimize in the field to bring the optimal performance out of this network. What were my design goals and what am I getting out of the field? Um, designing and deploying such a network could take uh, anywhere between two to six months, uh, depending on the scale of the network. Um, and just as a differentiator, we follow uh, the automate and operate mentality uh, while thinking ahead and create automations during the deployment phase itself uh, to enable smooth operations when this network is active. Uh, we have many software suites and services that uh, enable automated uh, open and closed loop operations for real estate owners to adapt to this new technology and this new network with their existing workforce. Uh, so that's a good explanation. Is there, are there other ways besides CBRS to install a, a, a private network um, for real estate or for other uses, other verticals? Uh, there are. Uh, CBRS is uh, only a start. Uh, for a shared spectrum. Um, we are seeing initiatives across the globe for such networks. Um, 5G is real and is here now. Um, we are anticipating a good mix of uh, public and private networks, offering a good mix of uh, existing and new innovative use cases that will come to life thanks to 5G technology. Uh, based on our extensive field work, uh, we can confidently say that 5G offers key advantages uh, over its predecessor technologies, uh, enabling ultra reliable low latency and gigabit speeds were needed. Gotcha. And so um, what do you think the steps are, that are necessary to accelerate the deployment of these networks? First of all, um, I think what you're doing with this video and other things we've done um, is the education piece. But, you know, do you see that as, as important? And what else can we be doing to accelerate the adoption of CBRS? Um, very important question we are seeing, we believe uh, for the next few years, um, it will be a mix of uh, existing private networks uh, or existing networks, uh, your regular Wi-Fi networks, uh, VPN networks, uh, and new CBRS based private wireless networks, uh, operating in tandem and hosting different use cases, but working as a single network for each enterprise. Uh, building owners should uh, start by thinking about which current network pain points can be eliminated with a CBRS based network while understanding what future use cases they can enable through this new private network. CBRS is here, it's available. Uh, anybody can go and uh, get a radio on, connect it to Amdoc SAS uh, and get Spectrum, start transmitting and serving their tenants. Uh, this will help them define the right requirements for this new private wireless network. Since each use case is unique and they all result in different flavors of CBRS based networks, enterprises and building owners can contact us for help. Uh, we have extensive experience in deploying private wireless networks and we are happy to validate their thinking and uh, recommend next steps for a successful deployment at scale. Right. So you mentioned Amdocs SaaS. What's a SaaS? 
What does that mean and how does it fit in with the CBRS networks? Yeah, so uh, Amdoc SaaS is basically a shared spectrum uh, um, system. So with the advent of this new technology, um, what we are seeing is that FCC came uh, with the FCC came with this unique concept of uh, shared spectrum. Uh, what it means is that uh, it's divided into three tiers, uh, five protocols. Uh, first tier is their original owner, the DOD and the Navy, uh, the Department of Defense and the Navy. The second tier is priority access licenses uh, uh, available at 10-year leases. And then third is general authorized users that anybody can get connected to via the Amdoc SaaS. Uh, so that is a SaaS system and CBRS is basically just the frequency and radio waves that enable that uh, wireless transmission. Gotcha. So, so in essence, the SAS is going to give me a channel and make sure that it's not being used by anyone else at that point in time. And if it is, they would, you know, flip and give me a different channel. Exactly. Good. So um, how does the rest of the network work when it comes to, so now I've got the SAS set up. Now I'm, I'm being able to use that shared spectrum. Um, and what else in my building, uh, for instance, one of the questions that we've been asked by real estate owners is, can this be used? I have 12 million square feet of, of, of space and it's in mo multiple different buildings. Can I tie my entire portfolio together using this? How do you see that rolling out? So uh, it's a, a very important question. And uh, in a short, yes, that can be done. Uh, just to explain, CBRS uh, offers a unique mix of coverage and capacity where needed. It's prime mid-band spectrum uh, that, uh, and it is the only band that by physical propagation can offer both. We are seeing sub six gigahertz deployments uh, in public networks for coverage and uh, millimeter wave deployments at 5G for capacity. However, CBRS provides both coverage and capacity. Uh, so you can go to a 12 million square feet uh, of a portfolio of buildings while providing the capacity that such a large deployment will need. Uh, with CBRS, I mean, FCC has started uh, this uh, shared spectrum uh, initiative, right? So uh, this can be shared amongst multi tenants and uh, multiple residences of uh, the real estate uh, building owners. Right. Um, and then Amdocs entered into the CBRS industry about four years ago uh, to offer exactly some of these enterprises and real estate owners, private wireless networks of their own uh, to exactly fit, uh, fit into this particular role. Uh, this is enabled by our SaaS uh, and CBRS Spectrum One and uh, software-led services, where we had the vision of uh, vast use cases enabled by such private wireless networks. And we are seeing them come to life as we expected. All this is fueling the... Um, acceleration of adoption, uh, the, uh, the creation of the innovative thinking of building owners. And this is all enabled by private networks, enabled by CBRS. Well, I, I think your approach being sort of end to end and full turnkey is a really wise one. And um, I am getting calls from real estate owners now, um, you know, who are starting to hear about CBRS. Um, and so we see ourselves as the educational outreach uh, for, uh, you know, CBRS to the real estate trade. And so I think your approach is, is very wise and we wanna to continue to help you to get the word out about it. Um, we've Definitely. taken the initiative to try to be out there and talk to real estate people about CBRS. And I, I thank you so much for you know talking about this topic because I think it is an important one. And many people, yeah. I think on the technology side, think that real estate owners have just shut down during this period of time because of the, the virus and, and yep. so few people being in their buildings. But I don't think that's true. I think they are preparing to return to work in very, very important ways. And I think CBRS yep. is gonna be a, a very big part of that. Um, do you agree that, that you think that, um, that return to work will you know, open the, uh, the floodgates of CBRS to an extent? Definitely. I mean, what we are seeing uh, in the industry is uh, the existing use cases when the, this, this, since there are three vaccines now available, uh, when COVID crisis uh, is behind us, we'll see the existing use cases pop up that, yes, I need this right away, uh, preparing for the workforce to return. And we are seeing some of the innovative use cases as well. Uh, this idea of smart buildings uh, is right at the forefront. I mean, uh, think about it. Uh, you may have to socially distance still uh, while the vaccine is rolling out while returning your workforce. 
so elevators have to be smart to not allow more than let's say two to five people and be able to wear masks uh, how do how do all these things tie together so some of these new use cases are coming up where tenants are eager to return but also cautious about their safety uh, and technology is here to help and cbrs does exactly that Gotcha. So if people uh, out there watching this video uh, want to contact you and Amdocs about a, a CBRS private LTE network, how can they do that? How can they reach you? So uh, uh, they can reach out to me via LinkedIn. Uh, I, I can leave my contact information, uh, my email, my phone number. Uh, I have a team uh, that they can reach out to as well. So we are available to help out. Feel free to reach out to us. We uh, uh, offer this end-to-end -end, uh, network hardware, software, and services enabled by our SaaS administration Spectrum One solution for CBRS. And uh, we are the only system integrator with the extensive experience in deploying such multi-vendor and multi-technology indoor and outdoor networks at scale. Uh, and being a software company at heart, uh, Amdocs works with the mindset of automate and operate, uh, creating unique automations catered to a particular use case and uh, network to make operating such complex uh, multi-vendor and multi-technology networks with ease. Uh, we offer end-to-end -end solutions for private wireless networks. We are here to help. Feel free to reach out to me um, and I'll be uh, happy to validate your thinking and recommend next steps. How can they reach you? Uh, they can reach out to me um, via my email, uh, which will be email? available. Yep. Good. Why don't you give us your email so we people have it? Sure. It's uh, my first name, V-A-R-U-N, Varun, dot Vashish, my last name, P-A-S-H-I-S-H-T, at amdocs.com. Great. Varun, you've done a terrific job today in explaining this to us. I thank you very much. And uh, let's thank talk you. again soon. We I expect that this is going to be uh, a very important topic with real estate owners for some time to come. And this is the great gift that the government has given to real estate. So I, uh, I love that quote. So thank you for being with me today. And, thank you. Um, thank we'll you for having me. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Rich. Thank you.